Well, March is Women's History Month, and we're taking the opportunity to highlight the women who have served our country and continue to serve in more ways than one. Well, farmer veteran Ann Devine of Chase Stream Farm joins us now to share her own story. And Ann, thank you very much for taking the time to chat with us this morning and share your story. Uh, prior to your current career in the ag sector, you served in the Marine Corps. Tell us briefly, if you would, about the path you followed. Hi, Janet. Um, thanks for having me on and letting me tell my story. Uh, I joined the Marine Corps in uh, 1989. I had received a ROTC scholarship to Stanford. And so even though I was doing pre-med as an undergraduate, I knew that I had a, a future in the Marine Corps. And my intent really was only to stay for four years and then go to med school afterwards. Um, but that soon turned into four more years, and then 10 years, and then 20, and then finally 27 years. So um, in 1989, so I, I graduated and immediately, you know, went to the, the basic school where all Marine Corps officers trained through, and out of that, I came out and um, received a intelligence MOS, and then I proceeded to have a, a really wonderful career for the next 27 years on active duty, serving in Somalia, Iraq, Afghanistan, um, Kuwait. I lived in Korea, lived in Japan. Um, we really had a a very wide-ranging and, and diverse um, career, and I retired in 2016, and then that's when my husband and I decided we were going to come up north and, and start give our you know give a give a hand at, at farming. Well, and you've already certainly had a very interesting and diverse career, as you said. But tell us now about your current operation with your husband. So, in um, about 2014, a couple years before I retired, we had. We're living in, in the D.C. area. I was working at the Pentagon in, in, in different places in Quantico, and he was a contractor. He, had, he was a retired Marine as well, and he had retired probably about 10 years before I had. And we started thinking about what we wanted to do post-government you know, government careers, and um, fortunately we were flexible enough that we had you know, our retirements to kind of support us through any new venture that we wanted to do, and we decided we wanted to go into agriculture. Don't really ask me why. I mean, both of us had been gardeners in the past, but nothing really that big. And I think really what, what drew us to that um, very quickly after we had decided we wanted to go into farming, we also knew that we still wanted to maintain a connection to our veteran brothers and sisters. And I was just doing some surfing on, on the Internet. Um, this is, you know, again, back in 2014, 2015, and start seeing these opportunities where veterans were getting into agriculture and, um, you know, there were certain training evolutions going on throughout the country, and we thought, you know, that's something that we would really like to do and, and we could, you know, really sink our teeth into. So uh, we found the property up in Maine. It took us about a year and a half to kind of find the right place that had enough infrastructure already in place that we didn't have to, you know, spend too much more money on developing that um, as it is. We mm -hmm. went through our savings very quickly because, as most people know, farming is, can be an expensive um, venture to get started in. Um, but we've been at it since 2016, and in that time we have developed um, a training program. Mm -hmm. and we, we, It's called Boots to Bushels, and it's actually through the University of Maine Extension um, in Agribility. And I started working with them um, within a year after um, it hitting the ground in, in Maine. And, and as you said, you guys work with uh, fellow military veterans who are, uh, maybe have an interest in agriculture. Before we run out of time, I definitely want to make yeah. sure if folks, if this kind of sparks an interest for folks or if they know someone who's a military veteran looking for uh, maybe a career path, where can they find more information? So you can look us up in Maine, and it's a program called Boots to Bushels, the number two. Um, and then if you just do agriculture and military veterans, a Google search, you'll find a lot of different programs throughout the country. There's some in Florida and Virginia. Um, you know, uh, Colorado has a, a really nice program. California has a couple of programs. So it's definitely on the upswing. Um, just, I, I, you know, one of the things that we always talk about is how the military really trains you not to be a farmer necessarily, but certainly to be an or um, because a lot of the characteristics that we hone in the military, like resilience and creativity mm -hmm. and uh, you know, dependence and perseverance, all those things you need with starting a company that has nothing to do with agriculture, but certainly um, if going into a farming 
you know, enterprise, it really helps to have those kind of characteristics, kind of holding up your backbone when, you know, things get a little rough or you know, crops don't turn out the way they're supposed to. Well, Anne, thank you very much for sharing your story. We certainly appreciate it. Again, Anne Devine of Chase Stream Farm. You can find them online at chasestreamfarm.com. We appreciate you sharing your story with us here this morning, Anne.